Fifty individuals are expected to benefit directly from the recent signing of a technical cooperation agreement between the Taiwan Technical Mission in St. Lucia and the National Skills Development Center, NSDC. Initiated by the government of St. Lucia, the agreement provides a guarantee of funding for the sports initiative from the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Demand-driven assessment will follow career coaching with completion of these items a critical part of the sports program. According to the general manager of the National Skills Development Center, Dr. Selma St. Pri, areas of technical training made available will be determined by the skills, short and long-term goals of participants in tandem with external demand. The program will include life skills, productivity enhancement training, or what we call PET, workforce readiness in the form of employability skills, first aid, which is pretty good for sports, entrepreneurship guidance, and technical vocation and education and training. The sports program is structured to engage participants from age 13 to 35 years. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, described the collaborative agreement as a push to enrich the lives of athletes by empowering them to develop outside of innate talents. Sports are always been a powerful vehicle for empowerment, personal development, and social change. However, while natural talent may lay the foundation for success in sports, there are more possibilities. Minister with Responsibility for Youth Development and Sports, Honorable Kenson Casimir, highlighted the potential for the sports program to further improve gains achieved in youth development on island. A second chance for an individual who is part of a semi-professional football team to develop proper life skills, to bring them back, because we have a lot of them that have gone astray, proper life skills, make them more employable, give them hope, give them something that they can fall back on when they finally decide to retire. Signing the accord is described as a pivotal moment in ongoing efforts to foster economic recovery in the wake of challenges initiated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Director of the Human Resource Development Unit within the Ministry of Education, Althea Emanuel, underscored the intended impact of the program on national skills development. Through technical and vocational training, we seek to equip them with the necessary certification to secure sustainable livelihoods and contribute meaningfully to our society. This agreement aligns nicely with the pillars of our Educate St. Lucia mantra as it fosters the provision of TVET education and lifelong learning opportunities for our citizens. The creation of a comprehensive internship strategy by the National Skills Development Center is expected to see 100% of graduates from the sports program provided with internship placements within their respective sector. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium reporting.